As Gary Harper moves up under center. Harper takes out. He'll go back to throw. Looking, firing. It is intercepted. That is Willie Underwood. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Hi, Tiger fans. I'm Jim Phillips, voice of the Clemson Tigers. Well, of course, I remember Jim all the way back to 1968 when he first came here. In fact, not too long ago, he told me that I that I was the first person to send him a, a card when he came, and he still had that card somewhere in his uh, file. Uh, so we've had a special relationship down through the years, and I can say a whole lot of things about Jim, but we had a lot of good times together. 10-6, Notre Dame has the lead. Tigers in possession at the 26-yard line of the Irish. Out it comes. Billy Lott on a misdirect. He keeps. Lott to the 20. 15. Lott at the 10. The 5. Touchdown! Well, there's a lot of orange in South Bend, Indiana, and right now it's all on its feet. What he meant to, uh, to me and everything else is that... Uh, you were going to get a guy that was going to be very truthful with you, going to tell you what uh, was going on. Uh, uh, would be a homer a little bit, not a bad one, just a little bit. He would pull, he would pull for Clemson just a little bit, especially get on the officials sometime. Uh, uh, but he wouldn't. He, I've never seen him put a coach in an embarrassing situation. I guess that's probably what uh, I respect more about Jim Phillips than anything else. Lord knows I've had plenty of times he could put me in an embarrassing situation, and uh, he never did. Nine, eight, seven seconds. McIntyre working right side. Lops it off to Jamison. Underneath, Buckner jams! Buckner jams! Six tenths of a second left! Well, Jim and I covered a lot of uh, great events, especially in basketball. Uh, I, I think back to uh, really the first broadcast we did together in 1978 in December was a uh, uh, buzzer basket by Derek Johnson to beat uh, Texas Tech in the uh, Sun Bowl tournament in, in El Paso, Texas. And then we, of course, did Clemson's run of the NCAA tournament final eight in, in 1980. And, and then I, of course, got the opportunity to do football games with him, uh, color from 1982 to 1988. We did some incredible games. Uh, I was there when uh, Tread, both of Treadwell's kicks, I did those broadcasts uh, with Jim Phillips. So just, uh, we had a lot of, uh, a lot of great memories. God, I hope nobody sees this because I love you. <laughs> I think some of the funniest moments and some of the best moments were off the set. Uh, we always had Jim part of our basketball family. If we had a Christmas dinner, if we had a Thanksgiving dinner, I remember one year we dressed Jim up as Santa and actually did our Christmas television salute from my home. And him being part of our family meant a great deal, not only to our university, I hope, but to our players. You rolling? I'm rolling. Okay, let's go with Bubber. <laughs> Otherwise known as Bubba. A little three, two, and one. Well, uh, initially, uh, Jim was one of those guys that just made you feel very comfortable about the, coming to the Clemson family, and I'll never forget that when I first uh, came here. And I can remember my first interview as the head coach before uh, the first game, and um, you know, you're a little nervous, you're wondering how things are going to go, and he made you feel very much at ease during the course of the years that I've been coaching. Uh, anytime we had some tough moments or tough games in a row, uh, he would always put a positive spin on it. He's one of those people that uh, was with you, win or lose. He was a Clemson fan and uh, always had the, uh, you knew you always had the backing of Jim Phillips. Woody, rolling left, looking to throw deep down the middle. Gardner's there and it is caught inside the tent. He was a professional, uh, you know, just a lot of history, uh, a guy that painted a, a vivid picture of Clemson uh, football. He had an art to it. And, uh, you know, we, we actually lost our soundtrack when we lost Jim Phillips. And uh, he'll always deeply be remembered, uh, part of our Clemson family and in and, uh, and history, and uh, just a beloved guy. Oh, well, you know, look, I'm happy I'm still here. I uh, hope I can continue to be around long enough to See the Tigers get better, and they're starting to look like maybe they're getting better. Now tell me, when you first came down here in the late 60s, did you think that you would be doing this for this long here at Clemson University? Well, I won't say that I didn't think that I would, 
but really it never entered my mind. Uh, it just began to multiply year after year after year, and I'm just very happy that I made the move to get here. You know, that, that's what I remember in my mind, probably more than anything he ever said, was every time he signed off was just, you know, Jim Phillips along everybody, and that's, that's pretty special, but I don't feel, you know, you ask how it's going to be different in the booth, I don't know how broadcasts are going to end right now, because nobody else can say so long, everybody. Ten six. Notre Dame has the lead. Tigers in possession at the 26-yard line of the Irish. Out it comes. Billy Lott on a misdirect. He keeps. Lott to the 20. 15. Lott at the 10. The 5. Touchdown! Now the clock winds. It is all over. Wait a minute. It is all over. Wait a minute. Fans on the procedure. field. Illegal procedure oh, okay. against Notre Dame. Oh, declined by the Tigers. Don't you worry about that. Wait a minute. The Tigers have come in the South Bend, and they have defeated the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame here this afternoon after trailing 10 to nothing at the half. The Tigers came out, played as everyone felt they were capable of playing. And they win it here this afternoon. We'll be back to wrap it up shortly. That final score, Tigers 16, Notre Dame 10. Ready. Gonna run. Quarterback draw. First down, touchdown. Tigers win. Tigers win, baby. Tigers win as Woody Stansler on the quarterback draw. A play that had been a big one for him all day long. Did it one more time. Woody rolling left. Looking to throw deep down the middle. Gardner's there, and it is caught inside the 10. And there it is. If you get it to Gardner, he will catch it.